Hello, 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 um, hello, please, hello. please stop. Hello, <laughs> Josh, hello, please, hello. How do I hello. turn this thing off? Hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to hit it, it's not turning off. <laughs> the heck? Okay, now it's laughing at me. This is the weirdest <laughs> clock I've ever used in my whole entire life. It's like it's like the it's like the Google Home, except that it's the Josh Home. Let me look at my receipt real fast. <laughs> Damn it! My warranty expired. I can't take it back. It's the worst day of my life. Now I'm stuck with a stupid Josh Jepson clock that I bought with 69 easy payments of 69.69. Oh boy, <laughs> it was well, really money, expensive. <laughs> Why is that so well, expensive? Well, the nice thing Christ. is I could either pay the a payment by either paying 69 dollars 69 cents, or I could go and 69 a random person that it told me to 69. Ugh. It's a really weird okay. payment thing. And I can also skip cutscenes, which I forgot about, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, skipping cutscenes would probably be a good idea. Uh, in a race, you know? We're racing. Uh, I just want to let you know that, uh, Tyler, Tyler, I just want to let you know, uh, we are racing. <gasps> <gasps> race yeah! to the finish! <laughs> Is that what people God. usually do when they race? Scream like a nine-year-old girl? I didn't get the memo <laughs> okay, on well, that one. It, you would scream too if you fell in the fucking lava. Or I, I don't think it's lava. I, I think it's Pepto Bismol. Yeah. I'm not sure. What other? I honestly can't think of another pink. Well, it's supposed to be. Oh soup, my god! But you press B to it, Twitch. It, we. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to oh, the best oh, website like ever. Dude, Twitch is great. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's not talk about Twitch. I'm gonna hey, stew. You, sh you guys should. You guys should follow us on Twitch. No, I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Go follow same. somebody better, like Ninja. <laughs> go, go, go follow Ninja and Drake. I don't know if Drake has a Twitch, but he was there at one point. I wonder at what point. It is kind of weird how like every like Twitch is now getting to the point where everyone's realizing how much better of a website it is, and like you see everybody go into it, people, even Jake people, Paul. Yeah, a lot or, of people are a lot of people are jumping ship. Casey Neistat started doing some Twitch stuff. Jax Films. I'm not sure. I actually watched. I went to Casey Neistat when he was streaming, and it wasn't good. <laughs> well, I think he's just chesting it. Like, I don't think he really cares right now what's going on with it. The thing about Twitch is, I don't think it's a platform that everybody can just go to. Like, Casey Neistat, I think, is like a great videographer and such. But right. I don't it's really be weird see him, him as. Live stuff, I think. Like, you have to have like a really entertaining personality I feel I just don't know if Casey has that he's a good artistic guy but I'm not sure if he has a good like I also think I think that he's interesting he, 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 not his he media. benefits from editing yeah oh shit oh god <clears throat> humor benefits from being edited I I think at the same time I think a lot of people's humor benefits from being edited <laughs> not just Casey Neistat <laughs> that's true including <laughs> us that's, apart though yeah, that's apart from the so fact that we don't really <laughs> Yeah, because Versus doesn't have that much editing, because if we added editing, people would be like, Are they cheating? You cheated! You on cheated! Me? No, we would never cheat on the Versus viewers. No, we would never. We loyal. We ain't ho we ain't hoes. <laughs> we ain't ho- well... <laughs> well, I guess at least. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Josh, so ah! this week, this is the week of yeah. our Versus panel. I know! Isn't it exciting? Dude, I am so pumped. If you're like in the Boston area, we're doing a meetup also. I like how uh, you put up a freaking, out. you put up an announcement video for the meetup today on your channel uh, on April yeah. 1st. We're recording this on April 1st and everybody thought you were making an April Fool's joke about our panel. And yeah, like, yeah, like I'm gonna make an April Fool's joke about a panel. LOL, like, yeah, you bought a plane up. ticket. LOL, you bought oh a PAX God. ticket. <laughs> LOL, you showed up to this <laughs> random location, but it was just a prank the whole time. Got him. <laughs> uh, to be honest, that would be a really funny prank. <laughs> <laughs> what is like, that? Really, like, really horrible, though. Dang it, what the frick? <laughs> but only if I could film it. Only if I could film it. That would be good. I mean, if you were there to film it, they probably wouldn't mind either way because they still got to hang out with you. <laughs> no, that's true, yeah. <laughs> unless you unless you like finish off the filming by like adding insult to injury and just punching them in the face. <laughs> you fell for it, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, no, Rock, come back! 
Okay, that's right. I got a second chance. I got a second chance. I got a second chance. No, fuck you, Rock. Ah, Josh, do you love Rock and Roll? Uh, no, just Roll. I just love Roll. Dude, I love Rolls too. Dude, Rolls are good, man. That's like that's like the second best part of Thanksgiving. Isn't like isn't it said that carbs are like equivalent to sex? Like carbs make you just as happy as sex does. I don't know. I think cars make me happier. Than Maybe sex. more. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like yeah. Olive Garden breadsticks. Like, Dude. I didn't know what true love meant until I had Olive Garden breadsticks. <laughs> breadsticks. Oh yeah. Come on. Hit the torch. You're the worst Olympian torch lighter ever, Piranha Plant. Yeah, see, that's what I was trying to do just now, but it, like, I couldn't get the fucking rock in his mouth, and then I. You couldn't, you couldn't get the cock in his mouth? I couldn't get the cock in his mouth, dude. <laughs> Sorry, my brain, okay, so. My Your brain's on cocks, apparently? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my grandpa is honestly the most inappropriate, ah! the, the grandpa I live with is the most inappropriate person I've ever met. <laughs> like, he will just say stuff that baffles me sometimes. But sometimes you know I'll be like talking to my grandma and grandpa, and my grandpa will say something that makes me have to like go back down to my room because I just can't handle it. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder where you. I wonder where you got it from. <laughs> maybe I don't remember him saying stuff like that when I was younger, but well, maybe, maybe he, he did, did and, and I just like subconsciously just adapted. Blocked it out. Yeah, yeah. that's that, that's exactly me. I don't know if you've met my mom, but my mom is out there, and so I think all my horrible, dirty humor has come from her. Oh shit, me. Fuck. F shit. Fuck. Ah. Or or the internet, just in general. I think the person that influenced yeah. me to be really having lots of inappropriate humor was like Shane Dawson the back internet. in the day. <laughs> Shane Dawson? Oh, yeah. Because he was so inappropriate, but it was so funny. And so... I, I can see that. Can you see that? I can see clearly Did, now you make sure to the wear your, rain is gone. Make sure to wear your glasses for eyes. Uh, I actually have perfect vision, so get back. I know, I'm freaking jealous. <laughs> I'm wearing contacts right now, but I'm pretty sure the prescription that the eye doctor gave me is wrong. And I've been too, like, lazy to go to the eye doctor and, like, get them replaced. And it's been six months well, since I got these wrong contacts. And I'm oh, still wondering gotcha, if it's yeah. too late to take them back now and get the, the correct prescription. Uh, I mean, if it's wrong, you should let them know. But you should have let them know sooner. And see if there's anything you can do about it. I promise I'm always, like, asleep during the business hours. Because I'm an owl. I'm an owl. Oh, that's true, yeah. You messaged me at 4 p.m. or 4 a.m. last night. And you're like, what you up to? And I messaged you the next morning. I was sleeping. <laughs> but you, I know you also have as bad of a sleep schedule as me sometimes. So I never well, know if you were awake or if you were well, that's asleep. True. That's, or... that's, the, that's the problem with my sleep schedule is that you never really know because I could be awake. <laughs> that's why we have so... That's why our, like... Our, we have issues with the versus recording schedules because sometimes we get through these like weeks. Which also we did record the la this episode that we're we recording did. now. We've recorded it before when we actually had time for once, and then the footage corrupted, and we're like, okay, well, fucking hell. <laughs> okay, well, um, f our lives. Yeah, our problem is you and I. We both just try to do so many separate things because we have so many different like interests when it comes to online entertainment. And then sometimes and we get also, into you the do dance stuff. Sometimes. Too. Yeah, I do dance, I'm doing music, I'm almost done with my next album. I do performances. I try to do a lot of different things, and although it can be bad sometimes, because it really spreads me thin, I'm, at the same time, I don't. I'd rather do these things and be spread oh, thin I than not spread. do them at all. I'm spread so thin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> these little things that are falling into this giant pot look like, you know, those like spiky gumballs that fall from trees. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Those like circular spiky things that there's like these trees that have these things called gumballs and they're like, little spiky. Spiky gumballs. Spears. I have literally no idea what you're talking about. Maybe they don't have them in the northern states you live, but they're like these little like they're about the size of. A golf ball, a little bit smaller than a golf ball, but they're kind of spiky. They're the seeds for oh, the gotcha. trees. And oh, I just saw right. them, and it reminded me of this this shock porn website that I came across on Reddit one time. <laughs> what the f Hello? Where they were just, like, <laughs> using a giant slingshot to fling these, like, spiky gumballs at these girls' vag <laughs> vages. <laughs> it was pretty what? traumatizing. <laughs> what? 
what is the, what is the shit that you watch? I'm so I said confused. it was a random thing I found on Reddit. Like, oh, I wrote Reddit. I was with some this. friends. Like sometimes me and just the friends just browse Reddit and come across weird stuff, and we're just mortified. But we, I don't know. The internet's weird sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you get trapped in those dark spaces. Quote of the day: The internet's weird. <laughs> Tyler Cedarwall, 2018. Truest quote of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Truest quote ever, actually, <laughs> of all time. Really. That's like the most true statement I could have made. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't think I've done this. I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. So, I, we mentioned earlier, uh, let's not do it like we do on the Discovery Channel. I don't consent. What? Um, Why not? Come on, Tyler. You know you want to. You hey, know what the fans want. Don't pressure me. <laughs> into things I don't want to do. Is it? Does this consider? Is this considered sexual harassment in the workplace? <laughs> yes, so we work you're, together. <laughs> you get a strike, Josh. <laughs> Two more strikes. You and you're Strike out. me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I'm Fifty yeah, Shades of Uncomfortable aim. right now. <laughs> that's my aim, Tyler. It's to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm really comfortable right now. Never mind. Okay, good. That was ah! Take it back. Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! Fuck me! Okay, fuck we me, can stop it with these sexual harassment jokes. <laughs> okay, no, that was Take just me dying. I have 1993 coins the year I was born. Isn't that cute? That's the most interesting thing you've ever said, Josh. I know. Aren't I just the most interesting I'm glad person? I get to commentate with somebody who has so many interesting things to say. I know. Me too. Is that the Except that's the type of commentary you make whenever you're making solo videos and you're trying Penis to figure out what to say. You're like, LOL, look, I have 64 coins, like the Nintendo 64. LOL, get it? I have 1985 coins. LOL, the year the NES came out. <laughs> I don't okay. actually know if that's the year the NES came now out. Josh is a Wikipedia <laughs> article. <laughs> Fuck! Dude, I am so very bad at video games! Okay, so we are really bad because there's somebody that's been racing alongside us, and his name is Odd Me, and he is a speedrunner for Mario Odyssey, but he actually got all 503 moons before the end of last episode. Like he didn't even <laughs> he didn't need all of episode eight to finish the race. That's all it took him. That's ridiculous. That that's is ridiculous. That's I mean, ridiculous. I, I expect that out of a speedrunner, but uh man. It makes it just makes me feel inferior. And that's the reason why we are using our versus panel to highlight actual speedrunners <laughs> and not ourselves. Well, well kind of. Uh <laughs> Kind of. But the speedrunners that we have are musicians first, speedrunners second, but they, they are at least knowledgeable. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, they can still... So they both have, um, like, I think the best, the world record time for 16 stars. So let's go ahead and explain real fast what our panel is going to be. So I think we should, like, at least okay. give an in-depth, like, explanation what our panel is going to be. Um, for those who either can't make it. We do... Okay, so first off, our intention is to film this panel and make a video out of it to show you guys what we're wanting to try to do moving forward with our type of content because although we do want to we do like doing these like casual races we do want to take the concept of versus moving forward yeah. into new areas because esports are becoming a huge thing with lots of games but there really isn't esports for the games that we play like nintendo games but there is people who are good at the games and so we really want to try to move forward and try to make an eSport with what we're doing with Versus. Yeah, we, we, we have a lot of ambition with, with Versus stuff, and I think we have a lot of uh, influence in the space. Even though we're bad at video games, we can we, we know people who are not. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, the other thing about it is, is we re really respect the craft of making Nintendo content, and I think if anybody were to do it, I would want somebody who really does respect speedrunning. And right, exactly. Even, and though, we're, like even though we're not speedrunners, we both really do respect the craft and know a lot about it and know a lot of people in it. So Yeah, yeah. Um, so Absolutely what we're going to be doing for our panel is we're going to have, we have two people who are casual speedrunners of Mario 64. Um, it's Family Jewels and another guy named Benjamin Briggs. Benjamin Briggs. Yep. And they are going to be doing an actual race of Mario Odyssey. I mean, not Mario Odyssey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mario yeah, 64. Mario Odyssey. <laughs> I just Definitely said that Mario because Odyssey. that's the game we're playing, and it was just second nature. <laughs> My B. Um, but they're going to be doing a, a speedrun race of the game. And they're going to be doing a 16-star race. So they're, they, they're going to be beating the game by getting 16 stars. There's like a specific like type of run that allows you to do that. 
Yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Exactly. Oh shit! And oh, shit. while oh, they're shit. doing oh, that, we're gonna have a wheel of torture to like oh, try to mess my. them up by doing small little things every five minutes to make it hey, a little Tyler, bit more interesting. Hey Tyler, speaking of the wheel of torture. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a great segue actually. It's time for the wheel of torture. <laughs> torture. All right. Torture. Oh shit, that What will that it echo. land on? Land on. It's getting creepy. <laughs> <laughs> It will land on <laughs> Gucci Gang. We have to collect enough coins to purchase an outfit. Gucci Gang, Gucci so. Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Ooh, I bought myself a new chain. Ooh, me and my grandma take meds. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> That's how he sings the song. It's. I am horrified. Music, I want you to know. Music is. There's some. Of, there's some musicians out there who I really just question. <laughs> Josh, do you know I the artist you. Six Nine? What? There's an artist named Six Nine, and uh, I believe it. He's a SoundCloud artist, and he has okay. some of the worst music I, I've ever heard. Oh my heard. god! Oh my god! I think you've mentioned this to me before. Yeah. So I don't. You've never shared anything with me, though. <laughs> you don't want to hear. It's like, you know how lenient I am with rap music and what I consider good music. You know I'm probably That's one true. of the most lenient people ever, because I understand all the right. different types of way you can make music. Right, but he just does everything wrong, and it's just like, it's just so bad. And also, he's a, a pedophile, which is great. <laughs> is it really? What? Yeah, he's 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 guilt. He's admitted. He's pled guilty to having sex with a minor. Yet somehow he's still what respected How? by some what? people in the music industry. Not by me. No. What? But, Ow! You gross. That's disgusting. Yeah, he's literally the worst musician, and he's still doing so well. And it's honestly really sad. And. I well, really hey, wish you know that. what? That's why you need to do better than that person. So that you can say, hey, I'm better than a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, I would agree. By the I way, am, damn by it! The way, so, Wait, please tell me so my moon Gucci, stays. Please tell me my moon stays. So, so, so Gucci gang, by the way, so that's you have to collect purple coins. I'm in the dragon, <laughs> so there's not, I can't do that here. Okay. But I will on the next level. Yeah, you can do it on the next level. We'll let it since there's no shop no choice. There. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> so we'll let it slide. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> we'll let it slide to the left. Ride. We'll let it slide to the right. Crisscross this time. Five hops. I don't know how it goes. No, I don't know if we can do this, Cappy. I uh, nearly died just now. <laughs> that is not a thing that I want. Right, you would you would have seen your life flash before your eyes, but you don't have a <laughs> life, so. No, instead I'm seeing lightning flashing <laughs> before my life, my eyes, my lies. <laughs> well, I'm lies. a liar. Yeah, you I mean, today today is the day you're able to lie because it is April first, and it's, true. it's the day where it's socially acceptable to lie. You know, I hate April Fools. I mean, not hate. I just like I just I'm not a fan. I really am not. I, I'm not I, a fan because I like people it use sometimes. April Fools to be an asshole. Sometimes people use it to be really clever, though. Sometimes. The clever ones, like, the more, like, oh, this is obviously an April Fool's joke, but it's funny. Yeah. Like, that kind of thing. But then people use it to just be an asshole or to, like, not. The thing that I don't like about it is that people just don't believe anything you say. Like, oh, you're lying all the time because you. The panel's actually a giant April Fool's joke. Then. Don't get don't get it wrong. <laughs> Everything <laughs> we said up, earlier Tyler. was a big lie. Shut up, Tyler. The panel's a real thing. And also, there's a lot more to our panel that we didn't describe, but I guess we'll kind of, we just kind of gave the general rundown, but we do have, like, the audience will be split into two separate teams, and, um... It's gonna be fun. Yeah, dude, I'm so excited. Yeah. And we're gonna be dude, using I'm this to eventually try to take Versus to new levels. We're trying to eventually do something alongside with, um, sort of similar to AGDQ, SGDQ, where people, um... We wanna, have, we wanna get people together for, you know, to, to do... To games. hang out and celebrate games. Yeah, we really. kind of want to get versus to a point where instead of it just being on a YouTube channel, it's like a big, it's actually like an event you guys can come to, hang out with people that like the same types of games that you like, that like to, that are. Would that be awesome, dude? I think it's, I think it's so possible, and I'm so ready. Dude, I'm so down for it. I really am. I just want to, dude. If we could host an event where people just got to come together and play video games and watch people play video games, then that my life would be complete at that point because that's all I. I mean, would that's ever, like that's. That's like our whole life, right? Like, that's what our whole life is, is like getting people together to play video games, but it's like on the internet. And if we could do that in person and meet people, you know, who, you know, who love the same kind of things that we do 
and it's our own event, you know, and we get to control, like, the kinds of things that go into it. I think that would be so amazing. Yeah. Lots of people, like, kind of interesting comp sets. So lots of people ask me, like, how I figure out, like, the type of videos to make or, like, the things I do. Like, how I decide, like, how to do series on the internet and stuff. And my answer is I always just, like, make content that I want to actually see, like, on the internet. Like, if I'm, right. like, I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, I wonder if this exists. And if it doesn't, then I'm like, oh, well... Actually, I guess I might as well really make it to, exist. That's really great to mention, actually, Tyler, because I, I, you know, people ask us all the time, right? Because we're content creators, people ask us all the time, like, how do we get into YouTube? How do we get into Twitch? How do we get into this? It's really just you have to do things that you enjoy, at first and foremost. Before that's, thinking that's how, about money, that's how before Versus started. I was just like, yeah. you know what? It'd be really cool to see people race through games because I did it with Donna Bells just casually. I'm like, this would be fun to do as a YouTube series, and then yeah, I happened to do it. I'm like, we did a video together. On my Majora's Mask Let's Play, I'm like, you know what? I feel like I could do good commentary with this guy. I feel like we click really well. We have a lot yeah. of similar interests and stuff. And so we did the thing together, and then people liked it. And that's how I've done, like, a lot of my series. Like, my Let's Build the Ultimate Theme Park series from my Planet Coaster series. I actually really like that a lot. There's, no, <laughs> there's nobody else, like, building the most in-depth theme park they possibly can. There's lots of great theme parks. But a lot of them, like, go with, like... Kind of like a theme and like kind of ended there like i'm trying to go oh what wait i'm literally With going a theme into park the, they go for a theme yeah oh crazy don't forget to get purple coins in an outfit tyler i won't we still have nine more minutes i just wanted to remind you you know in case you didn't you forgot i don't know <laughs> dang it i'm so bad at controlling those little fireball dudes little oh yeah they're kind of tough to to, to do though to be Where? Fair. I, I don't Not even need wrong. to go up this Oh, I want that moon. I see it. Oh, I see it. It's down there. Oh, I got it. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. That was close. Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> something else we're doing, we're trying to do. We're trying, as long as we remember, is we're wanting to shout out people that are racing alongside of us. Um, the people that have been, like, entering into our contest with the spreadsheet that we have um, in the description. If you are racing alongside us and you haven't, like, been submitting your things on the spreadsheet, we also... Do we have a way for other people to see the results, Josh? We should make that public so people can see everybody uh, else that's racing. Yes, I will make the list public. Um, it'll be like a, just a Google whatever form. Uh, not a form, a spreadsheet that you, you can see. Um, yeah. So I'll make that public as well so that you can see that. No, I destroyed my golden turnip. Oh, good. Good. Yes. That's exactly what I like to hear. No. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that's great. I think it's great that you're destroying turnips. I really do. I mean, it really shows your your admiration for uh, meat, really. You know, because I all these cause I just vegans and vegetarians they're out there eating their veggies. You're just like, man, fuck veggies. Yeah, <laughs> stop trying to tell me how to eat and how to live my life. I'll eat, I'll eat only sugar if I want to. It's my body, and I'll treat it how I want. Only sugar. <laughs> we just want to What'd turn up the summer. That's what we want to do. Sugar, sh you're a sugartarian. <laughs> sugartarian. I I could get behind that honestly. Yeah, dude. I could eat a diet, uh, just a pure diet of yogurt covered pretzels. Yeah, emphasis on die. <laughs> <laughs> you can't spell diet without die. And then also emphasis on it because I'm pretty sure that's all I am. I'm just like a random it. <laughs> Like, <laughs> you just become no one really know <laughs> yeah i just come just into blob. like an anamorphous blob and it <laughs> <laughs> what a life <laughs> yeah be jealous be peanut butter I and jelly been, i'm so peanut butter and jelly of you tyler and your blobness <laughs> your blobbiness yeah your blobbiness oh my goodness are there any purple coins down there or is it just moon i hope this is a moon actually and I'm not wasting my time for this. <gasps> oh, it's fell. I'm gonna moon you. Uh, don't do that. That's not appropriate. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't really want to see that, personally. <laughs> I You're mean, lost. maybe the audience does. <laughs> hey, audience. You're lost, I How about I guess. that for a loser challenge? <laughs> the loser has to show their moon. <laughs> loser has to moon the audience. Let's I'm not sure do that. Love to see I, don't, I don't think we should oh! get banned. Actually, well, you can only you say that because you're gonna lose. Can you show your ass on YouTube? Like, is that okay? I'm pretty sure you can show booty on YouTube. Uh, I've seen booty on YouTube. Yeah. You just can't show. You can't show dick or vagina unless it's an education <laughs> from <video. laughs> I'm Sorry, say that again. <laughs> no, that was the one time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a nerd. I am. 
That's why I'm trying to start a gaming convention thing. <laughs> I like that a nondescript gaming convention thing. I'm not really sure what to call it yet. Uh, an event. So I'm a trying to start a gaming wide event. event. Post it on your favorite location, the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web of World Wide I'm web sure the first time a spider heard of that, they were like, the World Wide Web, that sounds amazing. Oh. And then they were just like severely disappointed when they found out it wasn't the spider web. Oh my G. <laughs> they were like, oh. wow. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try to burst your bubble. Oh, there's nothing in there. Are you freaking nerding on me right now? All over you. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't nerd on me, please. <laughs> Tell me what to do. What level is after this? Is the dragon level and then Bowser Kingdom, right? That is incredibly correct. Incredibly correct. So incredible. Oh, my God. No, fuck Pixar. What a shitty animation company. They have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> they have no idea what they're- I mean, some would argue. Are there people who don't like Pixar? Like, legitimately think that they- Probably. Like, hate, hate Pixar haters. They probably don't- it's not Pixar that they probably hate them, it's probably just animation in general. They don't like I mean, uh, fake things, I don't know. <laughs> well, then I guess they don't like you, Tyler. <laughs> well, no, just my boobs. <laughs> But they're just jealous because I have nice boobs. Even though they're fake, they're still nice and <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Don't Tyler, be hating because like you, you ain't. Um, <laughs> sounds like you might be, uh. Sounds like word? it might be what? Josh. Uh, I, don't know. <laughs> I can't remember the words, so I'm moving on now. Mm, moons, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Part of your balanced breakfast. Uh, I wouldn't eat moon for breakfast, I don't think. Would you eat sailors? Well, actually, if it was made of moon? cheese, I would eat sailors. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, probably not. Well, maybe. <laughs> I think you should. Depends on the context. <laughs> is it a sailor's moon? Or is it sailor moon's moon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd eat sailor moon's moon. <laughs> That's for sure. Ew. I mean... <laughs> Or not. It depends, it depends on the context. <laughs> is Josh, how, find out next time. Is Josh Jepson going to eat the booty like groceries? <laughs> <laughs> what? I hope I don't need... Are you constantly appalled by the things I say? You know, less so than I used to. <laughs> <laughs> less, a little, you've so. been numbed a little bit. I've been numbed a little bit, yeah. A little bit of numb. A little bit of numb numb. All right, I am buying the samurai outfit. I bought the Gucci. I bought the chef outfit. Gucci Mane. Ooh, ravioli. Oh, I need some more spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I I love that the uh, the human characters that you buy stuff from in this level, the Bowser level specifically, uh, sound like Sims. Or I guess all of the human characters in this game sound like Sims a little bit. I believe so. I like the oh language. I like the language they have in Planet Coaster. In Planet Coaster, they have an actual language for their characters too. Like you can learn it if you want to. Really? Yeah, the lore of Dude, Planet Coaster. Cool. They've put in. It's probably the most detailed simulation game in that exists. They just keep adding. They just added a new uh, DLC pack called the Studio Pack, which allows you to make like Universal Studio type rides. Have you ever been to Universal Dude, Studios? Awesome. I have several times actually. You know that ride inside? Oh, I have to bring the fireball over here. That's right. Um, do you know the? If you've been on the Harry Potter ride, where you're like flying uh, through have. Hogwarts. Yeah, I have. So you know how there's like parts where it like kind of corners you a little bit into like a screen, and you'll kind of be um, like the screen moves around with you, so it kind of seems like you're really flying a lot more around than you really are because the screen's like right yeah, yeah like sort of like a vr experience yeah they added that to planet coaster which is so neat that's really like really these screens amazing. that move around with the ride and you can import your own videos into them that you take with the actual game to like it can help you like condense a, like an experience and it's, just, it's so cool like you can do so much in the game it's Honestly, that's really badass. When you were showing me stuff like that, like, I'm not super, super into, like, actually making stuff in games like that, because I'm just not good with it. 
But um, I used to be when I was younger. But these days, I just kind of like watching it. I, re I really do. I think it's so cool that you can just put that stuff together. Yeah. It's kind of like, cool it's almost like a 3D, because I took quite a few, well, not quite a few, a couple 3D animation classes. And it's kind of like that. Yeah, Planet Coaster is similar to 3D modeling classes, except you don't have to make any of the models. Like, there's a bunch of pre-made models, and you just arrange them to try to make a bigger, bigger picture. Tell me, Tyler, what is the bigger picture? <laughs> well, we're all just random we're souls all... lost in a giant universe waiting to be in an afterlife. That got really <laughs> depressing really fast. I'm looking, I'm not sure. There's some levels there's a giant sphinx like flying around in oh, the I sky. Oh, I didn't get the moon. I'm stupid. Well, it looks like you're going to have to do it next episode because we're at the end of this episode. So pause your game, bitch. Okay, but I got the moon, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was able to go back and get the moon. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, anyways, thank you all for watching this gorgeous episode of Mario Odyssey. Was it really I just gorgeous, though? I just realized I recorded this whole entire video with my, my door open, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I probably woke my grandma. Fuck. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Have I screamed at all this episode? Hi, Tyler's grandma! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Bye, guys.